a very good morning to all so in the last class we started with the chapter number 4 and we learned the story what was the story the name of the story was why neil had no friends and i ask you to read it two times so i hope you all read that now let's move on to the exercise you can take page number 46 in your textbook and let's start with the first exercise so in this exercise you can see sentences are given and what you have to do here is you have to make the sentences in the correct order and first to have been done for us so you have to make all other sentences in the correct order so let's start with the first one so what is the first sentence it is given neil sat alone in the park then what is the next sentence which is in the correct order then what happened neil was sitting alone his parents talked to his teacher so that was the story right so the second sentence is neil's mummy and daddy talked to mrs sharma so that is the second one second sentence then what is the third sentence what is the third sentence this in the story we can see the teacher called some of his friends so the third sentence you can write is the children told mrs sharma that neil was rude to them so we, in the story we can see they complained about this neil some said he pushes her some said he pulls my hair like that so the third sentence is the children told mrs sharma that neil was rude to them then what about the fourth sentence mrs sharma gave neil two glasses of lemonade right so what is the fifth order the fifth order is neil did not like the sour lemonade first she gave the sour lemonade then she gave the sweet one so what is the sixth one neil drank all the sweet lemonade that is the sixth one and the last one is neil understood that he should be nice to others so this is the order of the sentence okay coming to the next exercise answer the following questions you have four questions here we'll discuss the answers then you have to write it down in your notebook with today's date okay let's start with the first one what's the first question why was neil sitting alone in the park what is the answer he was sitting alone because he had no one to play with him the answer is neil was sitting alone in the park because neil did not have any friends he had no friends that is why he was sitting alone in the park what about the second question why did neil make a face after drinking the first lemonade the teacher took neil with her and gave him a sour lemonade so the why did he made that face when he get the first lemonade why because the lemonade was sour so the answer is the first lemonade was sour coming to the third question how did the second lemonade taste was it tasty was it sweet how was it it was sweet right so the answer you can write it as the second lemonade tasted sweet so the answer is the second lemonade tasted sweet coming to the fourth question how did neil start making friends so how did he started making friends so neil started making friends by behaving nicely with others in the story we can see at the end he understood that he should be nice to others so he started making friends by behaving nicely to others so that is the answer coming to the third exercise in the story we can see the three kids complain about neil right so we can see a box given here child 1 child 2 and child 3 and the another box you can see the reason so what was the reason the first child told he spoils our game and what about the second child what did he say he said he pulls our hair you have to write that sentence in that space given in that box given what about the third child what did he say he said he pushes us so that is the reason for the third child the next question what qualities do you need to make friends so when you are making a friend what are qualities you look at so you will see whether they are they are friendly right then you see whether they are sharing so you look 
for a friend who is sharing, helpful, friendly, etc. Right. So these are some qualities we will always look for a friend. Next, let's learn about another topic that is opposite words. So in the first class, I told you to make a flashcard for opposites. I hope you have done that. So now let's discuss in detail about these opposite words. So here you can see two pictures. So two different pictures actually. And what we are going to do here is we are going to observe these pictures. Okay, we are going to observe these pictures and we'll find out the opposite words here. So let's start. So let's start with the first picture. So here in this picture, it is very dark. From in the window you can see, out of the window you can see it is very dark and even you can see a moon. So what time is that? It is dark and you can see the moon. What, is, what time is that? It is night time. Okay, coming to the second picture. You can see from the outside you can see it is very clear and you can see the sun. So what time is that? Day time. So night time, day time. So what is the opposite? You got a one opposite. Night time, day time. Okay. Let's see, let's observe it once more. Let's see this little boy. What is he doing? He's sleeping. Coming to the second picture, you can see another boy here. You can see a boy here. What is he doing? He is reading his book. So he is awake. Sleep, awake. Another opposite word. None. Let's observe it once more. You can see a ball here, another ball here. So are they of the same size? No, one is big, one is small. So another opposite, big, small. So let's observe it once more. You can see light here, light is on. What about the lamp here? It is off, on, off. We got another opposite. Let's observe it once more. If you see this room, how is it? How does it look? It looks clean. What about this room? It has papers, papers on the floor. So it looks dirty. So clean, dirty. So we got many opposites from these two pictures. Night time, day time, sleep, awake, big, small, clean, dirty. So we got many opposite words. So let's see some more opposite words. Happy. What is the opposite word of happy? Sad. You can see the smiley here. Happy face, sad face. What about cold? What is the opposite of cold? That is hot. Open. What is the opposite word for open? An open box. A closed box. So open box. So these are some opposite words. So what you can do is you can take page number 47. In that 47, in page number 47, you can see different pictures with opposites. And take page number 48 in your textbook. In page number 48, we have a small exercise based on opposites. And you can see different balloons with opposites. What you have to do here is you have to make the pair of opposites. So first one is already done. Sad. Happy. So what is the opposite of sad? Happy. And that balloon is colored green. So likewise, we have to find a pair and you can color it. Any color, you can shade it. Let's take heavy. Let's take the word heavy. So what is the opposite for heavy? It is an heavy object. What is the opposite word we can say? Light. So you can color that two balloons. You can color any shade. Okay. Then what is the next one? Big. What is the opposite for big? Big, small. You can, that is a pair. So you can, that also you can color it. The next one. Dirty. So in that picture we saw a clean room, a dirty room. So opposite of dirty is clean. So you can make that pair. Another one. Wrong. What is the opposite word for wrong? Wrong, right. So that also you can make a pair. So we have made a pair of opposites and you can color it. So that is about opposite words. So in the next class, we'll come with a new topic. Till then, thank you.